Good morning, folks. I hope everybody's doing a-okay today. Let me situate my bears. Touch my head. They hold my head up. There we go. Got my buyer. Good morning, good morning, good morning, uh, vlogger heads. Just wanted to give a shout out and say howdy, 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 howdy. I hope everybody's doing great. It is Sunday morning at 10.15. Uh, I'm feeling better and better. I'm getting stronger and stronger. I took my first walk this morning around the block. I wasn't able to make it half a block. But I'm trying this new cream. It's called Voltaren. Uh, a, a topical gel and uh, it's a, a muscle worker and pain worker in the muscles and the bones. You also can have a pill form that takes but I don't take the pill form because I have the muscle pains uh, different parts of my body at different times so it's amazing. I don't use the walker. I haven't used the walker in a couple days um, so that's good. Yeah um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, got my new tea. Click. What do you think, folks? They look natural? I think so. Anyway, uh, I waited five months for those. Uh, I'm so happy. The other ones were 14 years old. And what the problem was is... I had 13 teeth pulled to empty all the teeth in my mouth for getting top and bottom dentures. And uh, they took the impression right after the surgery. And everything was swollen up three times the size it would normally have been. So therefore the teeth came out three times the size too big. Yes. I had to use a lot of denture powder all the time to uh, like, you know, a good... 18th of an inch or more uh, all the time to keep them in. So I'm really happy with these pair. They just snap in and they stay just there just fine. I love them. Uh, what else is going on? I have finished all the preliminary paperwork and referrals and um, uh, financing a, uh, approval and doctor uh, primary care physicians approval for surgery and now I'm going to meet with the doctor Fernando Hernandez who is going to do my total left hip replacement. Um, it is not just the the ball joint at the top of the femur that is flattened off and all uh, nearly gone there's just a little bit of that curvature left so that's shot but it being shot and while it was getting worse and worse and worse it was grinding on my hip bone in that socket at the same time so the left hip will have to be replaced ah, let me get a little sip of coffee yeah so that will have to be replaced but I've talked to a very good good friend um, what's her name uh, Oh, shit, I can't think of her name right now, but uh, she had the hip replacement done. And what I'm told is you're back on your feet pretty much the next day, and that's good. Um, you're limited. Uh, it's probably not limited, but it usually is only four to five days in the hospital. So that's good. Um, one problem is... I had sciatic nerve damage a year and a half ago and I was in bed folks a straight eight months. I could not get from the bed to the bathroom without somebody helping me. And uh, I lost weight in my left leg because of that. Um, I didn't use it for eight months. Then I moved and I moved twice actually. I lived across the street for one year and I had bad uh, neuropathy and vascular necrosis of my bones in multiple spots. My knee, my left hip, my left shoulder is real bad. The right one, eh, not so bad. If I were to reach up on a shelf, 
I couldn't get a box down off of up, you know, standing on my feet and reaching up on a shelf. Um, they, the arms just don't, they won't go up anymore. The sockets are shot. So that will be next, is my left shoulder replacement after my hip replacement. What else? I am promised to get a little dog for me. Uh, it'll be my first and it's going to help me to recover because I can take the dog for little walks. I live one block from the ocean. And there's a park right across the street next to the ocean that runs for, well you walk around it, a circle of it and it's one mile, but it's from 77th Street all the way up to eighty eighth street so that's seventy seven to eighty eight that's a good eleven city blocks of, of uh, miami beach and uh, i love to uh, have a dog i've wanted one forever i got two small black cats gizmo and uh... squeaky their brother and sister and they're small enough they can adapt to the dog they'll adapt real quick because they love to play and I want the dog to be the same way. I'm going to uh, rescue a dog from the, the pound. Uh, I'm excited. I think I'm going to get a little terrier. If anyone has an idea about dogs, I need one for a fairly small apartment under 35 pounds. 30 pounds, because I might have to pick them up to bathe them. Um, 30 pounds, get them in the, t in the bathtub anyway. Um, and friendly, friendly with kids, and likes to um, have exercise. Let me know the breed of dog, and I'll check them all out on Google. Whatever you tell me to uh, look up and check out what you think would be a good dog for me for recovery from the hip resurgery, uh, I'll check it out and uh, pick a dog. And then you can help me name it. Anyway, uh, check out the Octabout Studios on YouTube. I have other videos there, of course. And also I'm on Facebook, Timothy Phillips. I'm on Yahoo, which is Tim Phillips 540 at gmail.com. I am on Facebook, of course, Timothy Phillips. I guess that's it. Uh, have a great day. Have a great Sunday. And people, 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 blah, 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 blah. folks, take it easy. Be safe out there this summer. Uh, use your noggin. And especially never, ever drink and drive. Don't even buzz and drive. That's a new thing now, buzz and drive. I saw it on TV. Some folks think, you know, a little buzz, I can make it home. doesn't work that way because there are just as many deaths from buzzed drivers, probably more deaths from buzzed drivers than drunk drivers, I bet you. So be safe out there. Oh, I'm still doing my vapor shark electronic cigarette it helped me quit smoking I love it I love it I was trying uh, for the first four months on watermelon the flavor watermelon but I re recently changed to Jolly Rancher it's called Spice Jam. Spice Jam. It's fantastic. I love it. This is a, about $15, this whole bottle. And it will last me about a month and a half. All for 15 bucks. And this cost me $80. It's uh, stainless steel. And this is Pyrex. This little uh, condenser thing here heats up water.
It's just water vapor. That's all it is, folks. None, none of the uh, nicotine and all the chemicals that are in cigarettes because I got COPD, I got asthma, I got what they say is chronic bronchitis, meaning it never ever will leave me. Um, I, matter of fact, I have a touch of it now. I found out at the hospital uh, Wednesday when I went and saw my primary care physician they put me on prednisone and that makes my face swell up like a balloon if I take it too long I'm only going to be on it for about four or five more days and uh, my first dose of it was seven pills all at once and I have to get rid of this bronchitis of course to have the hip surgery so uh, I got bronchitis, COPD, asthma, and uh, I'm telling you folks, if you smoke, for the love of your family, loved ones, and everyone, try to quit. At least slow down, but try to quit because it will kill you. And if I continue to smoke, I mean, I'm sorry folks, it's just the way it is. I would probably die earlier than I want to. <laughs> so, um, sounds like a commercial. So get your Vapor Sharp electronic cigarette here on the internet. Google search it. V-A-P-O-R-S-H-A-R-K VaporShark.com, I guess. And uh, have a good time with it because it's fun. They got vaping rooms now down on South Beach. A little restaurant set up just for vaping. It's called vaping. <laughs> With that being said, folks, I'll let you go. And have a great, great day. Have a great weekend. Keep in contact with me, Skype, Uvu, anywhere. Yahoo, Google, talk to you soon. I'm out of here.